job. Don't stop till the break of dawn. So, hey, are the uh, Sunshine All-Stars throwing you a party out in the desert? Hey, where's your 12-foot platforms? <laughs>
part of the goal uh, of Jet X2O was to give the gamer the sense of freedom, uh, the sense of large worlds, the sense of multiple paths. The, the main part of our game is actually racing with tricks. So it's, it's pulling off multiple tricks while racing down this fast uh, branching course, trying to get the best time and the highest trick total. We're trying to push the, the verticality. Nobody's ever done this in, in, a, in a water racing game. Uh, water racing games tend to be uh, circuit based. 30-second uh, uh, laps or around a track, um, and we've just plain thought that was boring. We can now make real-time waves. We can we can run current. We can run very intricate physics models on multiple craft. It was really important for us to have the craft um, deform the water and leave a wake and then other crafts would react to that wake. You get a layer of physical simulation where your guy's reacting to the physics as well as trying to go where you're pushing him with the controller. So when you lay over to the side, your, your guy will come over, but as physics pulls you, you'll be pulled by that as well and kind of bouncing around. People are tired of seeing the, the standard tricks, so why not raise the bar and, and do something a little bit different? The tricks that we use encompass uh, main different aspects of, of extreme sports like motocross, um, even some basic uh, jet ski and like skateboarding. We try to grab many different attributes of each one and we try to incorporate it in all the different animations. We try to extrapolate from sort of real world possibilities of, of what a Superman might be like, you know, jumping off the back and, and grabbing the back of the seat. Well, we take it one step further and allow the guy to spin off the back of the jet ski uh, in a manner that nobody would really ever be able to do. We were looking at motions that were basically impossible for a human to do. No problem, dude. All of our characters are their characters. They're not stagnant, stale figures. There's only one intelligent choice here. They actually have a backstory, a little bio, history. If you can't take it, get out of oven. We wanted people to come away from the game either really loving a character or really hating a character. Crazy? I'll show you crazy. What we really wanted was these downhill rushing currents that were pulling you along and you really felt like you're hitting you know, these, these crazy turns and, and suddenly this, the water just drops out and you've got this huge downhill run. You know, it, was, it was all about the excitement. It's very fun, it's very challenging. The tricks are just a, a really nice trademark in the game. Jet X2O is big worlds, huge drops, amazing tricks. It's freedom on water. Vladdy Zakharov, worldwide domination! Yeah, comrade, you just proved it for the people. Hey, what dance is that, the uh, Siberian slide? Hey, I want to see some moonwalk now. Moonwalk! Hey, have I seen you in pro wrestling? Does your head have a uh, fondness for folding chairs? <laughs> the project is good, yes! Ava Del Toro, yeah! You just worked this game. No mercy. Is this the Take No Prisoners victory dance? Oi, oi, oi! Blackheart, bring it on. You make your papa punk rock proud. Karen Nielsen, come on down, girlfriend. You just stole the show. Racking up major points for the fatherland. Yeah, bust the move. What is that, some kind of techno tango? Uh, nice job. Nice warm-up suit. Hey, what do you shop at? Yeah, Taylor Jordan, you just killed it. Way to dominate the show, bro. Hey, check out that Detroit Muscle Victory Dance. I guess you've been practicing your racing more than your dancing, huh? Hey, Taylor, where's the hotties with all the champagne? Motor City Madman takes the gold! 